I'm Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to pop on and talk about a few really important foods to make sure that you're incorporating to your everyday diet because they're really important for hormones and estrogen and everything else. So, um, so a lot of this information is in my book, The Female Fat Solution, which you can get on Amazon. And then I do have on my website right here, www.drbethwesty.com, you can get a free seven day meal plan guide that goes through protein pacing, goes through carb cycling, which I'll talk more about carb cycling tomorrow. Um, and then some intermittent fasting, a lot of other tools, tr tips, tricks for you to really get the most out of your nutrition. A lot of there's so much information out there so much information out there for women and oftentimes women are misled or they're given information that's not tailored for their bodies and the research for nutrition is done on men so if you're not looking at you know a nutrition plan that's comprehensive and really takes into account the female body and how it functions you're not going to be getting the right result for whatever you're doing so that's what my nutrition program is that's what my book is based on nutrition for women so you can get the most out of your body especially the most out of your hormones because estrogen does some really important things in your body um, so I've done some other videos on this if you guys have questions don't hesitate you can comment below you can message me if you're not comfortable commenting more than happy to answer questions on this one of the biggest um, misconceptions about nutrition especially for women is that um, healthy fats how much healthy fat to eat what to really focus on that type of a thing and oftentimes women are really not getting enough healthy fats into their diet to really help their body regulate and hor hormones regularly um, what if you are estrogen? Oh, excellent question, Naomi. So this is to really help your body function the way that it should, right? These are healthy foods to make sure your body keeps every hormone in check the way that it should. So if women, this, and it goes the same for progesterone too. Um, the same healthy fats are needed for progesterone, uh, but it's, I, I always start with the beginning of the cycle. So Naomi, check out some of my other videos that I've done, or if you want to chat about that, we can too. Um, Love how excited you are to talk. Thanks, Melissa. I know, right? I get super fired up. I was chatting with a friend today. This this is where this came from. I was chatting with a friend today. And um, you know, she was she's talking about doing a bikini competition, which I'm really excited for her for. And she was like, Oh, well, this is what they said about healthy fats, but I don't think that's enough. Because she's also um a natural health care practitioner. And I was like, Yeah, that's definitely not enough. That's definitely not enough for you to maintain what your hormones need to do. And that's part of the reason why when women do these extreme nutrition things, it screws up their cycle, it screws up their body, and their body has a hard time functioning as it should. Your nervous system really needs these healthy fats so your it produces the right amount of hormone in your body. It, it's just physiologically how things go. So when you cut out fat because you're like, oh, the calories of it, oh, you're getting the wrong like results for it. So your body's not going to function. So systems and organs shut down then meaning women have amenorrhea or they don't have their cycle or it gets totally messed up and their body is so stressed out. So including, making sure you're including these healthy, um, nutritious foods on a regular basis will help with that. So coconut, these are all healthy fats. The important thing about these healthy fats is they have the correct ratio of um, omega-3s to omega-6, etc. I'm not going to get into the importance of that, right? If you really want to, you, there's so much information out there, but that's not, people get lost in the, oh, how much of the omega-3, blah, 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 whatever. Okay. These are the things to look for at the store and to put in your face. Coconut oil, um, avocado, you can eat avocados whole, put them in your salads, guacamole, whatever. Um, avocado oil, I love using avocado oil. Hemp seeds, also really, really nutritious for you. Um, it's what people would call like a nutrient dense food. Hemp seeds. Grass fed butter. Grass fed butter has a different amount of fatty acid in it, higher amounts of specific fatty acids in it that are actually really beneficial and healthy for you. So that's why grass fed butter is important. Regular butter, not the same because the cow wasn't grass fed. It, it depends, you know, there's, again, there's this whole process behind it, but it is about getting grass fed, um, grass fed nutri nutrition. Um, yes, I'm just making sure there was another question. Okay. So grass fed butter. I love to get my grass fed butter at Costco. Who's surprised? Oh, 
Costco. They have Kerrygold and these big bars of it. Oh, it's amazing. Um, I get my coconut oil at Costco. They have huge bags of avocados at Costco. I'm just, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting to be sponsored by Costco. So if anybody out there knows somebody at Costco, I mean, really, this is avocado oil I get at Costco. They have hemp seeds at Costco, huge bags of organic hemp seeds at Costco. So amazing. And then wild salmon also. Again, all about the right ratio of omega-3s in there and the healthy fats that are beneficial for your body. Yes, Naomi, carry gold. Woo! How many grams of these healthy fats per day should you consume? Danielle, excellent question. Um, it's really tough. For, um, this is one of the things that I disagree with in a lot of nutrition programs out there where they'll say, Women need 30 grams of healthy fats a day. Women need 40 grams of healthy fats a day. Women need 50 grams of healthy fats every day. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It depends. It depends on your body size. It depends on your goals. It depends on what you have going on. You know, are you under a lot of stress? Um, do you have a tendency to have low blood sugar? That type of a thing. I can give you an example um, of me, and I'm 6'2". So I'm really tall. That's like literally the number one thing I hear from people when they meet me. They're like, oh, you're really tall. Oh no, I'm really, I'm like super tall. And I eat about 160 to 170 grams of protein a day. And I will eat between 125, 150 grams of carb a day. And I will eat 60 grams of um, fat a day and not think twice about it, right? So those are those are actually what I call my bottom line numbers. Those are my bottom line numbers of what I need to get to. That's my minimum. If I get more protein, if I get 180 grams or, or 200 grams of protein a day, woo, killing it that day. Not mad about it, killing it. So it, it depends. But if you, if you wanna chat about it, um, a lot of times it's just knowing a little bit more about you. I can, okay, oh, this is gonna get you to the right amount faster, that type of a thing. But excellent question. That's a question I get a lot. Kevin, what if you're a guy? I don't, what if you're a guy, Kevin? <laughs> Excellent question. Um, so I'm a women's health expert, and my book is on women's health and hormones. So that's what I dive into. Um, I mean, healthy fats are very important for men and testosterone and, and all of that stuff, too. Um, I've done talks for men health, men's health, um, but that's not what I focus on. So uh, wild-caught salmon. Also... Wild caught salmon, yes, guess what? Costco, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All these foods you can get at Costco. <laughs> so making sure you're incorporating healthy fats, healthy fats that have the proper amount of, uh, and they call them healthy fats, the right ratio of the omega-3s to omega-6s in your body. They help with hormones. Just make sure you're having them on a regular basis, right? It's gonna help hormone production overall. It's gonna help hormone balance, which I don't like that word balance because you don't want an even keel. You want your body to go through that natural ebb and flow like it should. Um, hopefully that kind of makes sense. And that's, a, that's really important. And then the other thing for estrogen foods is I talk about cooling foods. And I've done videos on that, and I have a lot of stuff posted on that. So if you have questions on that, let me know. But it's, you know, all these foods could, would be, well, butter is dairy, which is not necessarily cooling, but it's got a lot of important um, healthy fat in there. Salmon is a cooling food. Raw fruits and vegetables, spices, such as, you know, mint, dill, rosemary, thyme, all that stuff. Very, very cooling for the body. Um, also, a few herbs that are important. Um, ashwagandha very, very important for helping with your hormones and helping your body mitigate stress and handle stress a lot better. So estrogen doesn't take over and you become really estrogen dominant. So ashwagandha is my favorite. And then the last thing I'm going to talk about with hormones and estrogen and really making sure your body is balanced. Um, this is my favorite kind of like tonifying, cooling. This is a tea that you make. Cumin, coriander, fennel. So this is, this is it. This is cumin, coriander, and fennel seeds. This is what I use. This is just the seeds. So again, grocery store. You just go get the seeds. One time I sent my husband and I said, hey, pick up some cumin, coriander, fennel for me. And he brought me ground. <laughs> cumin and coriander and fennel. And I was like, no, <laughs> not ground, the seeds. So just equal parts, cumin, coriander, fennel seeds. I keep it in this little jar here and I take a tablespoon or two and just hot water, make it just like a tea, let it steep for a couple of minutes. I put some raw honey in there, make it sweet. 
It's not like a tea where you'd be like, mmm, this is really delicious. It's a little more earthy. I mean, it's, it's good, right? It's good tea. You can, you can drink it. But this is really great for helping soothe your digestive system, tonify your body, and it's really, really great for your hormones. And so I talk about this a lot. Um, but this is just a great tea for women to add in on a regular basis. Um, and I like to have this at the end of the day before I go to bed. Um, really helps with your digestive system and just kind of center your body before you're going to sleep. So my favorite tea right here. So if you make it, let me know how you like it or if you find any other tricks. I mean, you can put a little bit of lemon in there too if you like. Great. Um, but that's, that's all it is. Cumin, coriander, fennel seeds. Make it into tea. It's fantastic. You can go to my website, get that free seven day meal plan guide if you want. And then I do have a 12 week meal program. This is for women that are really ready to dive in and do a lot more with their nutrition. All the information, all the content, everything from my book is poured into this 12 weeks to get you the best results. All right. That's what I got for you guys tonight. I'm going to talk more about estrogen. I'm going to talk more about some specific foods, how to incorporate them and really more details on carb cycling tomorrow. So hold off on your questions for carb cycling until tomorrow and everybody have a great night.